the weather is slowly changing and the fortunes of the Bradford Bulls about to change as well. Ben Thaler, whistle to lips. Let's have some Sunday afternoon fun here at Odsall Stadium as Patton sends it straight downtown. And it's a horror start for the Bradford Bulls. That's caught the wind. That one is watched over the sideline there by Tom Gilmore and it's an early penalty to the Batley Bulldogs on halfway. Seven minutes gone, currently scoreless. Bulls nil, Bulldogs nil here at Odsall. Doyle now to Walker, to Lilly. Quick fast hands and Aaron Murphy's through a gap. He'll go past Lou Cooley and Bradford open the scoring here at Odsall Stadium. Inside eight minutes, Aaron Murphy, his first start after recovering from that injury and he has breached the Bulldogs line and tight Odsall surface, so will that reflect in terms of players positioning as Meadows beats one, beats two, he's over the Bradford line but he's held up, tremendous scrambling, try line defence for the Bradford Bulls. Batley to their credit, they're not allowing the Bulls to get that roll on down the middle and they're going to try and get a roll on themselves as Meadows finds the support, Meadows skips past one, can he go past Miller, he floats it out wide, it's going to be a try to the Bulldogs, a sensational try, the Bulldogs cross out wide and that is one of the tries of the season, take about James Meadows and now making metres forward, the 30 metres out though from the Bradford line on the last tackle. It's going to be a kick up from Gilmore. Gilmore looking to put pressure on Tyndall. Tyndall's let the ball bounce. Knock on from young Liam Tyndall. For a place in the top six, knowing that they would host the Bradford Bulls later on the season. Can Batley score their second try of the afternoon? Momentum has taken Lucas Walshaw across the Bradford line. And that was a lovely move from the base of the scrum. Tackle two, Bradford. Five metres out, good attacking platform. They're on that left-hand side as it goes back down the middle here with Lilly. Lilly to Doyle, Doyle underneath the post and Tom Doyle will draw the Bradford Bulls level on the stroke of half-time. It's a second try assist of the afternoon for Jordan Lilly. Miller up to halfway. Once again, Bradford in a centre field position. Lilly now down the middle with Gill. Gill caught high. John Keir looks towards the posts. He's going to let the Bulls decide on this occasion, is John Keir. Declan Patton then strikes the pose, draws the imaginary line between the pose. It's Bradford Bulls 14, the Batley Bulldogs 12 here. Good defence from Hudson, wrapped up the former Newcastle Thunderman, 30 metres out. That's only tackle two though for the Bulls as Patton now. Lovely ball towards Kia. Kia on the edge towards Lilly. Lilly now to Evans. Evans out wide. Chance for Tyndall in at the corner. Tyndall's gone over the line. Liam Tyndall on his Bradford Bulls debut. Defence from the Batley Bulldogs who scramble back and there's going to be an early kick here. Looking for a 40-20. That one's got a bit of power on it. Tyndall's chasing. Tyndall's chasing. It's a try to the Bradford Bulls. Oh, he's dropped the ball as Jared O'Connor. O'Connor's oh, dropped the ball over the line. Five metres out underneath the Bulls post. Tackle number one. Steve Crossley back out there. Second spell with Ant Walker. And Alistair Leake will make it far too easy. He'll pick the ball up out of dummy half. He'll go past Ant Walker and Elliot Kia. And Batley, just like that, have made this a one-score game. So the 35 metres out as it goes from White to Gilmore. Gilmore kicks early, looking for Perry Whitley. Too much on that, but it's a penalty to the Batley Bulldogs because they've been taken out in back play and Craig Lingard cannot get that kicking tee on any quicker. How's the fingernails? How's the nerves? A crucial penalty attempt from Tom Gilmore. We draw level here at Oxhall Stadium. Bradford Bulls 20, Batley Bulldogs 20. 12 minutes remaining on the clock here at Odsall Stadium. Is this the set? The Bulls just go straight down the middle and they look to Lilly or Patton to put over the drop goal. The 30 metres out. Does Jordan Lilly try it? He tries it from 38 metres out. Jordan Lilly, it's gone over from 38 metres out. Jordan Lilly's first game of season 2022. And just like he did against Featherstone here a couple of seasons ago in Golden Point Extra Time, Jordan Lilly has got a drop goal from 38 metres out. That has given the Bradford Bulls a narrow one-point lead.